My landlord got not exactly what he deserved, but it sure was a rough ride for him. I had a landlord who was pretty absent. I lived in this building, a high rise, like 20 stories, for 10 plus years. He, despite living next door to me, was absent and cold personally, but cool enough. Rent was good, our agreement was never bother him about anything unless it's an absolute emergency. Shower head wonky? Go buy a new one. Fridge breaks? Get it fixed, or do just buy a new one. Take it out of what you pay in rent. Lost the receipt I don't care I know more or less what a fridge costs just take it out of rent. Finally his wife decides she wants more rent, wants to rent the place out as an office, not legal, and wants us out ASAP. I agree to move out a month early and get a month's rent back plus deposit. Complete 180 on their part. The place is ruined, can't give you shit until you fix all this stuff. Two main things, my cats did scratch up the leather legs of the dining table, and the pull-up bar made two dents in the door frame of the kitchen, which was quite nice hardwood. They come to me with this list of tons of stuff like oh you hang a photo frame here, this tile is slightly chipped. This is the busiest work time of the year for me but I'm trying to be cooperative, sure, I got the table legs re-leathered, spackle the photo frame wall hole. Can't do anything about the door frame, take it out of deposit. Patch the tile. Like dozens of little. Everyday wear and tear things, like you want me to change the window screens? These are all new screens and in nicer shape than when I moved in. But I did them all, I trusted the guy. Gotta get my money. At the end he should have been giving me 2,500 pounds. He gave me five. I still need to use the money to fix all that stuff, if you can't accept the five, I can't give you anything at all, I was super pissed off but took the five. Now, people in the building are gossipy. I don't participate but I did tell this one older lady about my frustration. She told everyone. The wife went from being the star of the mommy's group, of the building to nobody wanting to talk to her. People shunned the guy, too. I originally told them I was planning on moving to another city but an opportunity came up and I ended up renting a similar unit in the same building. So they thought they could just screw me over and not have to see me, but now they still did often. A year later the office calls me with some question about how to do something with the floor heating, I go door frame is not fixed, still has dents, I call the guy like, what the hell, man, and he tells me to mind my own business. Five years later. I see the light at my old place is still on at 3 a.m. Huh, that's odd. I go to check, the door is open, and the place is just trashed, ruined. Cabinets broken, stuff on the walls, lazy landlord. And the dents on the kitchen door frame are still there. So the guy never fixed anything, just kept my money. By this time smartphones were popular and we had a chat group for the whole building, so about 500 people. I took pictures and posted everything. Apparently he had also nicked these people's deposit, and there was a huge ruckus when they trashed the place, cops called. All these people chime in with complaints, and pictures. People smoking in the hallways, leaving leaky rubbish outside the front door, videos of people using foul language in front of children, dirty footprints. He got fined a lot for one, creating a public disturbance two, degrading the quality of the living space three, illegally renting a residence as an office and to top it off the building management wouldn't grant him permission to have workers in to fix the place, so it sat there empty for like six months. The fines were big, too.